Hey everyone, welcome back to the Lace Up channel. Today we're gonna do a tutorial on how to pair a Zebra RW420 with a Samsung Android device. Let's get right into it. So on my desk here, I've got the Zebra device. So this is an RW420, okay? Just so you can see it there. And we have our Android device. So the Android device is a Samsung S5. It's a fairly old device, um, but it's a great little device and that's what I use for these demos quite frequently. Anyways, pairing one of these printers is really straightforward. All you have to do is ensure that the printer's turned on. So to do that, you look at the screen here. The screen, as you can tell, is turned off. But if I hit the green button right here, the screen will do a little loading wheel and power on. You know it's powered on once you see that there's a battery level that comes up and some text that comes up on the screen. So, yep, there it is. Let me go ahead and put it in focus for you guys so you can see it. Perfect. Now, what we want to do is we're going to pair this printer to this phone. To do the pairing, it's really straightforward. Let me put the phone here so that you can see it. Okay. So we are going to go to Apps, Settings, Bluetooth. Now, the moment I do that, you'll see the phone here start scanning. And this is really universal for every single Droid device. Now, you don't know which one of these is the printer. You've got no clue. It's not like it says, hey, this is a Zebra printer. So what you have to do to find out which one the printer is, you're gonna go back to the printer, you're gonna lift it up, and you're gonna read the serial number right here. Let me leave it up so you can, so you can focus. Here's the serial number. You can see where it says SN and it says DERC. That's your serial number. So all you have to do on the device is, all you have to do is find that serial number on the device and tap on it. So let's go here. Here's our serial number. Now, keep in mind that there is some printers that have been restored and they have a different name. Um, if that's the case, uh, you'll have to put it or plug it into uh, Zebra Setup Utilities and restore it. Um, but for the most part, it's almost always the same as a serial number or very similar. Anyways, to pair the printer, we tap on it and it's gonna ask us for a pin. Now that pin is normally 0000, 000 1234, as you can see right here, or in my case, which I've made it through Zebra Setup Utilities, it's 5555. When we're done, we hit OK. It'll say pairing. And when it's done pairing, it will say paired, like that. Anyways, that is how easy it is to pair one of these printers. If for some reason your printer doesn't pair, maybe you've tried it 10 times. There's only two possible scenarios. Number one, you don't know what the pin is. But let's say you've tried the pin a million times before and it's worked, but today for some reason it hasn't. What I would do is restart the device, restart the printer, try it again. If that doesn't work, okay, then what I would do is connect it to Zebra Setup Utilities, which we'll cover in another demo, and reset it. Now, once you've restarted everything, once you've reset the printer, if none of that works, then more than likely you've ruined or something's happened to the little Bluetooth module within the printer. At that point, you'll either, either need to get a new printer or you'll have to send it in for repair. Anyways, if everything works and goes according to plan, the pairing process should be very straightforward. If you have any questions or any trouble going through that process, hit me down in the comments below. I'll make sure to get back to you. Other than that, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Take care.